Microcornea is a condition characterized by abnormally small corneas. This video will cover its causes, associated complications, treatment options, and long-term outcomes, providing medical students with a comprehensive understanding of the condition. Microcornea is caused by genetic and non-genetic factors. Mutations in genes like Pax6 and FOXC1 are associated with microcornea. It can also occur in syndromes like Peters, rubinstein tabey and Fraser. Proper understanding is important for diagnosis, counseling, and management. Microcornea is often accompanied by corneal opacities, which can further compromise visual function. These opacities can result from a variety of reasons, including corneal dystrophies, trauma, infections, and metabolic disorders. Common types of corneal opacities seen in association with microcornea include corneal clouding, corneal scars, and corneal degenerations. The presence of corneal opacities can significantly impact visual acuity, contrast sensitivity, and overall visual function. Appropriate management approaches, including corneal transplantation or refractive surgeries, may be required to address these opacities and optimize visual outcomes. In the video on management of refractive errors in microcornea, we discuss strategies for correcting visual errors in these individuals. The options include spectacle lenses, specialized contact lenses, and surgical procedures like LASIK and PRK, Depending on the patient's condition and corneal characteristics, surgery is often necessary to correct microcornea and improve vision. Corneal transplantation is the gold standard and can treat opacity and irregularities. Refractive surgeries like PRK and LASIK can reshape the cornea. Innovative approaches like laser-assisted keratoplasty and collagen crosslinking may be used. Glaucoma, a condition causing optic nerve damage, is linked to microcornea. The mechanisms are complex, involving high eye pressure and altered fluid flow. Early diagnosis, monitoring, and treatment are vital to preserve vision. Options include medication, laser, or surgery. Collaborative care is important. The corneal endothelium plays a vital role in maintaining corneal transparency and health. In microcornea, structural and functional alterations in the corneal endothelium have been observed. These changes can include a reduced number of endothelial cells, abnormal morphology, and decreased pump function. The presence of corneal endothelial abnormalities can pose challenges during corneal transplantation and other surgical interventions. Adequate evaluation of corneal endothelial health and careful surgical planning are crucial to minimize risks and optimize outcomes in individuals with microcornea. Microcornea can be a feature of various syndromes and genetic disorders. In this section, we will explore specific conditions in which microcornea is a prominent clinical feature. Peter's anomaly is one such disorder, characterized by central corneal opacity, microcornea, and other ocular abnormalities. rubinstein tabey syndrome is another genetic disorder that can be associated with microcornea, together with intellectual disability and physical features. Understanding the clinical manifestations, associated ocular findings, and appropriate management approaches are vital in effectively addressing the ocular and systemic concerns associated with these syndromes. This section provides an overview of imaging methods used to diagnose and assess microcornea. Optical coherence tomography, OCT, and corneal topography enable visualization of corneal thickness, shape, and abnormalities, aiding in surgical planning and contact lens fitting. Understanding these imaging techniques is crucial for managing microcornea effectively. Microcornea in children can have significant implications for visual development. The smaller corneal size can lead to refractive errors, amblyopia, lazy eye, and other visual abnormalities. Early detection and timely intervention are crucial to maximize visual outcomes in pediatric patients with microcornea. Regular eye examinations, appropriate correction of refractive errors, and amblyopia treatment are essential strategies in managing microcornea-associated vision development concerns. Collaboration between ophthalmologists and pediatric specialists is vital for the comprehensive care of these young patients. Microcornea is often accompanied by other interior segment abnormalities. These can include iris malformations, such as coloboma or corectopia, alterations in anterior chamber depth, and lens abnormalities. The presence of these additional abnormalities can further impact visual function and may influence management strategies. Understanding the spectrum of anterior segment abnormalities associated with microcornea is crucial for accurate diagnosis, appropriate referral to subspecialists, and optimized management approaches, such as customized contact lens fitting and surgical planning. In this section, we will discuss contact lens options for individuals with microcornea. Traditional lenses may not work due to irregular corneal shape. However, specialized designs like scleral or hybrid lenses can offer better visual correction and comfort for these patients. Understanding and fitting these lenses is crucial for providing optimal care. In this section, 
we will discuss long-term outcomes and complications of surgical interventions for microcornea. Studies show satisfactory visual improvement and transparency after corneal transplantation, but complications like graft rejection and induced refractive errors can occur. We will also explore challenges and potential risks of refractive surgeries and innovative approaches. It is important to understand expected outcomes and manage complications for successful postoperative care. Microcornea is a complex condition with genetic and non-genetic causes. It is associated with corneal opacities, refractive errors, glaucoma, and other abnormalities. Management involves a multidisciplinary approach to optimize visual outcomes and address complications. Diagnosis, evaluation, and treatment selection are crucial. Advancements in imaging, contact lenses, and surgery offer potential for improved care. Ongoing research and collaboration are essential.